What's up guys, it's your boy Mr. K back with another video, hope you're all doing well and today we'll be reviewing the AirPods Pro. I know what you're thinking, what's the point of buying AirPods Pro now? Isn't there leaks of the AirPods Pro 2 and isn't it rumoured to be coming out this year? So doesn't that mean the original AirPods Pro will decrease in price once the new one comes out? Yes, but to see any significant change, you may need to wait a year or even two years. So that's kind of crazy, but anyway, by the end of this video, I if you should wait for the AirPods Pro 2 to come out, or should you buy it now and just not save a little bit of money? But nevertheless, now let's actually get into the proper review. So usually you can get the AirPods Pro for about £189 to £99. You can usually buy it for about £99 when it's refurbished, but if you want it brand new from Amazon or something like that, it's about £189. The specs of this device, this device has active noise cancellation, not to be confused with noise cancellation in general. Active noise cancellation is when you're playing music in your ear and it'll cancel out all sounds. Noise cancellation in general is when you just put in the headphones and it cancels out all of your surroundings without any music. The next specification about this device is water resistant. It's water resistant and sweat resistant but I would recommend to keep it out of water. This is because if you drop it in a puddle, it more than likely will stop working. If you drop it in a pool, it will more than likely stop working. But if it's a light drizzle and you're doing a jog or any form of exercise, it should be okay. But the best bet is to just keep it out of water in general. This device can stay alive for about 24 hours as long as it has the charging case. But if it doesn't have the charging case, it can be, stay alive for about four and a half hours. And then the final spec about this device is the fact that it has wireless charging. So you, if you have a wireless charger, just pop it on. Obviously, it will take longer to charge because it's a wireless charger and it's not directly plugged in. So it's going to be a bit slower to charge, but that's what you pay for. A cool little wireless charger but nevertheless let's actually get into the proper part of the review so let's move on to reasons why you should get airpods pro this year first pro about airpods pro is the fact that it has amazing sound cancellation and also sound transparency sound transparency is when you press a button and you're able to hear your whole surroundings even if you're playing a song it's just kind of a cool feature that apple included and something that's not in many earphones it's usually in large name brand headphones but it's something cool that apple will include the next positive is the fact that how convenient it is you press one button when you get straight out of the box and it basically instantly connects to your device and it's just very cool and easy and the way that you can seamlessly go from your tablet to your macbook to your phone or anything like that is just really cool feature that apple included with every single part of the ecosystem it's just something very nice to have and just makes the experience of using the Apple product even better than it already is. Now let's move on to our final positive about this product and that is as a way better fit than the original AirPods. This is because it has these little Q-tips here so you can pick which one you want out of three. Whichever one fits the best in your ear is the one you use and it just will prevent it from falling out as much as the original AirPods because with the original airpods it tended to fall out and didn't really have much grip in your ear but this really improved the experience but that doesn't make it out of the woods yet because it can still tend to fall out of your ears without you even noticing if you don't have that perfect ear shape that goes with the airpods pro nevertheless now let's move on to negatives things that i did not like about the airpods pro the first thing i didn't like about the airpods pro is the fact that it doesn't have a designated app this is because some high range earphones have apps and some even cheaper than this have apps where I can tamper with the audio, make it to my desire if it's too bassy or not bassy enough. I can just test it, amp up the bass a little or put it down a little just to improve the quality of my audio. It would have just been cool if Apple included this because it's what they have on the inbuilt system isn't the best, it's usable but the app would have been a bit cooler but nevertheless now let's move on to the second negative and that is still very expensive like every other apple product it's just a little pricey 
maybe a little bit overpriced i would say this just imagine this if you pay 10 pound more than the original price of the airpods pro you can get professional studio headphones that people use like like famous people use to record their music for just 10 pound more imagine that and then you're just getting this it's just apple maybe wasn't thinking about their consumer too much but now the price has trickled down a little bit to 189 pound but still the base price of this device was actually out of hand and it still kind of is now let's move on to my final negative the final thing that i did not like about the airpods pro and that is and get very dirty very quickly obviously there is no other colors of the airpods pro it's only base white so it can tend to get dirty pretty quickly even if you're a very clean person and even if things can get clean very fast and even if you're a very clean person and you clean everything as soon as you see a little bit of dirt you still manage to find dirt there's no way to get an of another color where you won't necessarily see dirt unless you pay a much much higher price and you go to a place called colorwell or something like that where they'll custom paint or do whatever engravings or everything you want in the shop but you have to pay a much higher price than the actual product and it's just kind of a waste apple should invest in some different colors for a different audience or something along those lines but nevertheless it's conclusion time now in conclusion i believe that if you already have an apple product or apple system i think it's a good bet you pay for convenience everything how easy it is to connect how cool it looks <laughs> everything to be honest but if you're not already in the apple ecosystem and you want to use these airpods they're not really worth it you should should maybe invest in a sony pair of headphones or something like that because the main thing you pay with the apple's airpods pro is convenience because it's not really a special headphone but nevertheless it's been your boy mr k comment something if you see the waves if you like the waves comment wavy or something like that if you got to the end of this video but thanks for watching please like subscribe support the channel and nevertheless yeah bye